Hello, I'm revisiting one of my projects that I have already gone through. I just wanted to give you guys an update of what it is right now because I did change it up a little mainly because um, the mint that was in there it was growing, it was going okay. I mean I was dealing with a lot of dead leaves kind of dying up. It, it was growing, it was gr growing new shoots. I will go ahead and show you a picture of the uh, mint that I got removed. Um, take a look at that. You can see how in that picture there is some new uh, shoots that were growing up. But I decided, okay, it was just too much work picking up the dead leaves, uh, creating a hassle, uh, reading online as well. Uh, I was finding out about some kind of um, issues that could happen with fish. Uh, not that I've seen it in my fish, but I guess uh, mint could be used as a, a something for the fish and then. I can't really pronounce the word, but I just kind of figured, okay, uh, I'm not going to chance it, uh, along with the just being a hassle of it. So I just I decided to just go through and just use pothos only and just grow pothos on it. Um, I will, in a second, actually turn it around as well and actually give you a closer look at the pothos and show you how it is growing. It's doing great in there. It's uh, growing. It's doing a good job. Um, as you can see as well in this uh, section right here, I do have it clear and right now I do actually have some fry in there from my fistogramas from my boys room. I picked out some fry uh, just to see if I could get them growing and uh, surviving in that little thing until they get larger, until I could put them into a larger tank and go from there. Uh, just give me a few moments and I'll actually give you a closer look at the pothos and go from there. Hold on please, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back, and this is the pothos that is growing in here. I just want to give you a closer look on how it's doing. It's doing a really good job at growing. It is surviving well. Um, as you can see, it's starting to grow a little bit onto where my glass is. I might eventually have to trim that if it gets, or rearrange it so it's not growing there. Uh, what I might actually do as well is I want to kind of move my light right here. Uh, this light I kind of want to maybe raise a little, and I might actually have some bars where I can actually have the pothos grow as well up above the tank and see how that goes as well. But I'm not quite there as yet. Uh, the pothos still has a lot of growing to do, and I will see how it goes from there. Uh, so that is my pothos that I'm growing right now, and as I, I, as I told you previously, I did remove the mint that was in there, uh, mainly because I was having issues with leaves dying, and I really didn't want to go to the house without having to pick that out. Um, this is a lot more, less maintenance, a lot less work, uh, though kind of probably would have been nice to have mint if that succeeded well. Um, as I can say, it was growing new shoots. Uh, those new shoots might have done better, I'm not sure. I didn't really let it grow out longer. Uh, but that is how that is growing right now. And I'm going to swing around here in this right here. This is the section where I do have some epistogramma fry. As you can see right there on the left hand side right there, that is one of them that is just kind of hanging out by that little thing. As you can see it's going to start swimming down a little bit right here. And there's three of them in here. Um, not quite sure where they are. Uh, okay, and the other two are in the corner down there kind of just resting um, right down there in the corner right there. The, the two right there. So there's three in here. They're kind of growing really well. They're getting larger. Um, uh, they, these are uh, from Bumblebee and Optimus Prime. This is from their first batch. And they are growing pretty large. Um, and I actually did just buy a 10 gallon tank as well. Where I'm going to put them in there when they get a little bit larger. And probably keep this for the smaller fry. When I do have more smaller fry to put in there. Um, but that is that. I just want to give you an update on my little reader box slash pothos <laughs> pot. Uh, but anyways, I do have this lid right here, which I did get 3D printed just to cover that little area up right there. And it's custom designed and basically printed from, uh, I used uh, treat stock on that and had someone 3D print it for me. Um, nice thing about this as well, it's a little bit clear. I could actually turn on my flashlight from my phone, uh, shine it down there, and it kind of lights up the area. 
uh, considering I'm using my phone right now, I can't really shine down on that. But that is uh, my uh, project that I have ongoing, uh, growing pothos on the side of my tank to help remove some nitrates from the water column. Um, as you can see, the water does look a little yellow from that side, but it actually is pretty clear. Um, I probably still am ha battling some green water in there, but it it is what it is. Um, so that's an update on that. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. Um, anyways, have a nice day, night, or whenever you're watching this. Thank you. Bye.